Welcome into a very special round table. It's just the three of us, so it's more a triangle. I am Max Bredos, joined by two gentlemen that you know very well on two sides of the country, EVP of LAFC and general manager John Thorrington, who is with the club in Orlando, and director of the LAFC Academy, Todd Saldana, joining us here in Los Angeles. Great to see you guys. We all need some good news. We have two items. Obviously, we have the game on Monday between the Houston Dynamo, LAFC back in action. And even better, the signing of three academy players. This is huge for the club. And now Christian Torres, who is with the squad in Orlando, along with Tony Leone and Eric Duenas, now full LAFC members. Uh, being an academy near and dear to both of you, you guys know how this works. I'll start with you, John. How, how, how big of a move is this for the club? Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, I think rightfully so. Uh, the work that the first team has done to date has been in the public eye. And I think that um, has been fantastic and, and testament to all of the work from for everybody at the club. But the, the academy is a longer term play. And now we're starting to see the seeds planted before the first team now come to fruition. You know, we took a very deliberate decision to start with just a group of under 12s. And now that group of under 12s is now the first group that uh, under 12s in uh, 2016. So two years before we even started as a uh, in our MLS expansion year, um, we have kids now that are the, fir- the part of the first graduating class and to sign three professional ready prospects from one age group, which is our 04 age group is incredibly exciting for the club and is you know, the next step of what we want to do where you take um, all that we're doing at the, at the first team level and continue aligning it top to bottom down to our 10, 11, 12 year olds. Uh, I have to give Todd and uh, the academy coaches, uh, a lot of credit in how they've um, helped nurture and develop some of these really talented players. And uh, I hope we have many more of these days. Our academy is incredibly important to us. Our owners have invested uh, a lot of money into the development of these players because they believe in the talent in Los Angeles. And now it is up to guys like Todd and Rick, myself, our, our first team coaches, to now take the great work that's been done at the amateur level up through when they're 15, 16, 17, and now translate that to uh, success at the professional level. Todd, as John touched on, this is a process beginning in 2016. This doesn't happen by accident or overnight. And now we have three players that are going to be part of LAFC. We may see, well, I'll talk to you about how Christian plays into this LAFC squad in Orlando, but we, we got a chance to see these players in the preseason. Christian scored a goal in one of the friendlies. Give us a little primer on what these three players bring to the club. Yeah, I mean, to to add a little bit on what John's saying, um, I think we're at a point where we're we're proving the concept, which I, you know, I'm excited that we, the vision was to build, you know, somewhat slowly and start with a group so we could build a culture in the club too. So again, I, you know, give a lot of credit to owners and John's vision and then the chance to build it slowly and, and, uh, and, and you're seeing that now. But yeah, so you've got three guys, Tony uh, Leon is a defender. Um, I think there's certain qualities they all have. I mean, they're, they're fundamentally sound, obviously, to be able to pass and be skillful is a part of what the brand has. But but Tony's sort of extra qualities are he has great passing range. He's improved his 1v1 defending. You know, he brings that. He's got a lot of international experience, which I think will help. Uh, Eric is... Um, you know, as Bob said, he's a very good little footballer. But, I, you know, I always think of him as being a very street-savvy guy, right? He's uh, he's very comfortable. He's not a big guy, so he's had to find different ways to win battles. And But he's also very uh, tricky. He gets up the field in a smart way, too, and can make plays. Christian, again, you know, he has the fundamentals. He has, you know, they're all mentally, physically tough. But Christian is moving off the ball, I think, is the thing that caught the eye of the staff. So he brings, he creates a lot of chances. He makes a lot of openings for others. But he's also got electric speed to get behind the defense. So you got a little bit of everything in this group of three. My apologies to Tony. I believe I call it Leone. It's Tony Leone. And because uh, we're going we're to learn these names very soon. Honest mistake. By the way, talking to Eric, tricky, tricky is a real good word to be uh, described as as a footballer. So we look forward to seeing you. Tricky. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
when I spoke to you, Todd, about the coaching, you were very happy about how much attention they got when they were training with the first team. And uh, that is something the club has practiced. This is Bob Bradley right now talking about what these three bring to the club. It's important for our club to have the first three homegrown players come out of our academy. Eric Duenas is a good footballer. Big heart, works really hard, picks up ideas, smart on the field. And so he's a player that I think is gonna be a lot of fun to work with. Tony's a very good young defender. He's been around enough for us to see his qualities, shows an ability to make passes from the back, things that are important to us. Christian is a really good all-around attacker. In particular, we like the way he moves. Uh, that kind of movement is very similar to what you see with Carlos Vela. So his understanding of the kind of movements that we like outside to in, those things have really impressed us a lot. I certainly would want to give credit to uh, Todd Saldana and Enrique Duran for the way they've challenged all the players and coaches in the academy, and hopefully it's a, a sign of good things to come. Todd, you were mentioned there, Bob, giving you a lot of credit for what you were able to do to help develop these players. What does that mean to you? No, it's, a, it's a little surreal watching that, but um, no, it, it's uh, we take a lot of pride in it. Obviously, we're super proud of the way the boys have performed. We're, we're proud that uh, the first team actually took notice of them. They were thought they were good enough to be able to join them. You know, but again, it's... Um, yeah, it's 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 you know people look at these things sometimes and think it's an overnight success by some of these boys, but they've worked very hard to get here. Our staff and we mentioned Enrique, um, guys have worked very hard with them in the last year, especially the closer we've got to the first team, be able to prepare them to be ready to to perform the way Bob and the first team would like them to. So we've had a good year with them getting them ready for Bob. John, you touched on this a little bit about going back to 2016 and how the process has occurred. How have you seen it as an academy? What were the challenges starting from scratch and where you see it to the point today where it's actually developing players for the first team? Yeah, it, look, it's not an easy thing to do. And I think the, the priority is on alignment. And I think what we have started to do as the academy this older age group got to the age of 15, 16, 17, we were very intentional to start folding in Todd and Enrique to the first team conversation. So Todd and Enrique will sit in the conference room with Bob, with his staff. They'll be in there when they're reviewing our first team match from the week before, just so that we all start using the same vocabulary because, you know, our, our job here is certainly to elevate the level of the game in Southern California, but the ultimate priority is not just to develop professional players, but professional players for LAFC. And we do have a specific way of playing and expectations depending on, on the position. We've got three very different positions with these three kids. And as Bob and Todd touched upon, they've started to show elements of LAFC specific movements and qualities that are essential to then graduate into our, into our first team. And that process now will continue as they get thrown in full time with the first team, uh, that is now that is a process that started in January. You know, the conversations with all three of these players took very different rhythms. Uh, Tony was the first one that we started talking about. He was the physically and and seemed to be the most pro ready. So the conversation with Tony started before the conversation with Christian and Eric, and then it all accelerated once they were with the first team and showed their ability to fit. Uh, come January and that's that's not just to say how they handled the on-field demands but also how they carried themselves off the field that we're now confident and that they are ready to handle all of the demands of being a full-time uh, professional athlete and that's not to say that they're not going to continue their their education it's a uh, you know for us we feel a moral obligation to the person and his their all three boys' education will certainly continue on and off the field. They have been so well-received. When you talk to the supporters, they almost feel almost maternal or paternal with regards to these development as well as being part of the bigger picture of LAFC. We're going to get to know them a lot better, but here they are, the three newest signings for LAFC from the Academy. Hey, guys. It's Christian Torres. It's an honor to join the LAFC first team. My name is Antonio Leone. Signing my first professional contract is a dream come true, especially with a team like LAFC. 
I'm Eric Duenas. I am now proud to say that I have achieved my dream of becoming a professional soccer player at LAFC. So all the hard trainings with my dad and my coaches are finally paying off. I want to thank Todd Saldana, Enrique Duran, Cristiano Scalopo, and many, many more who helped me get to this point in my career. I started at LAFC Academy since the first day of practice, pursuing my dream. But none of this would be possible if it wasn't for God and the support and sacrifices that my family have made for me. Now it's for the next step and on moving forward with the first team. Thanks. I know this is only the beginning of my career, but I'm very excited to begin to train with LAFC and to prove myself. I'm excited for this new challenge that I'm about to face and for what's to come in the future with LAFC. Thank you, LAFC. Thank you for everybody who's been with me throughout this journey. It's very much appreciated. As you can see, all three Southern Cal kids. I'm getting emotional, Todd, and I wasn't even along for the journey. I can't, you've got to be blown away when you... You think about where this journey began for these three kids and where they are now. Yeah, you, you, you mentioned sort of uh, how, how people feel about it. You, I had a, a number of people tell me they're having a dad moment, you know, because and I think it's, it's positive because a lot of people shared in it. A lot of people got close to the academy. You know, the 3252 were out at game. Some of those guys got to know them when they were little. We've been pulling up pictures when they were just in their first years here. So a, a lot of people, I, that makes me very happy to see a lot of people, even up to ownership, saying they had sort of a dad feeling about some of this, which makes me feel like they felt involved and engaged. And it's, it's true. They've, you know, we've had ownership come to games. We've had first team st staff come to games. John comes to games and training. So everybody's been involved. So, yeah, that, that was a bit of a theme from when people called to congratulate. But they all said they were kind of having that sort of feeling. And, you know, that made me happy, too, because we're, we're sharing it with everybody. John, I saw you nodding too. This has to be a very proud moment for you as well. Yeah, what was interesting for me, this is obviously the first time as a GM, let alone the GM of LAFC, to engage in these conversations. And what was really made me proud is I could tell in each of the conversations, whether it was with the player, the agent, the parents, this real pride to be a part of LAFC. And that is only because of what Todd mentioned. And I, I know the stadium and the, the 32 fifth, everything is, is a big part of it, but they definitely feel valued and they feel that we care and they know they see the owners there. They see when they come to the first team that they're not just thrown aside that Bob, Ante, Mike and Kenny are putting their arms around these, these kids and, and really care about their development. Um, and also, you know, as I as, as I always say, the the on field, off field uh, development of these of these kids as players and people, and I, I really it, it was a, a proud moment for me because these kids have options to go different places. These are top kids of their age group nationally, and in the conversations, you got the sense that their main focus was I want to be an LAFC player, and I think that only happens because of how they've been treated. And that is um, of utmost importance to us and our culture and our organization is to how we, we go about our business. We do, we do things right and we do the right thing. And that's our, uh, and I think that that paid off in these conversations because as I say, these kids do have options and I got the real sense of pride they have of being a part of our club. Todd, real quick, something that John pointed out about being wanting to be part of this LAFC Academy. This was this was non-existent a few years ago, and now it's a brand and an academy with some wind in its sails. How have you seen how it's been received locally and beyond there? No, I mean, I think we, we felt like it was something that was needed to happen. You know, an academy in L.A., this side of L.A., the, the talent that was waiting to be a part of something special, you know, the culture that the club built fed perfectly into what I think our identity is an academy too. And so I think it was just a matter of, you know, getting our gr groups together, hiring staff that, you know, understood to be a part of a collaboration and the guys follow the games. They watch every game. They're at the game. They, they, they sit above the 3252. So they hear it clearly what it means to be supported, you know? So, you know, again, I, I think the, the, it didn't take long because of how quickly this culture has been built and the pride in the organization. So, you know, there's, I'm excited. I mean, the future obviously looks bright. We learned a lot in this process. Uh, we've had some time to get here. So I think we're, we're primed to uh, continue to bring 
players along that can can show value to the club. It's a feel good story, even if the story ends here, but it's not going to end here. And John, let's talk about specifically Christian, who is with the team. Tony and Eric will get a chance to play with the team once they return from Orlando, certainly practice with the team. How soon can we see Christian beyond training, possibly make an appearance with the club? Yeah. And, and look, I want I want to be clear. And, and um, you know, we had a tough decision to make with Christian, with Eric, with Tony, and, and much of it is dictated just positionally um, as to where, uh, where we are thinnest. And, and certainly um, we were really excited to get Christian signed so that he could join us here in Orlando. And, and Tony um, and Eric are working um, and training at home uh, with Carlos and some of the other players that were not able to join us in Orlando. So I, I don't want to um, ignore what they will be doing uh, in the hopes of hitting the ground running once we're back in market in, in August. But yeah, with Christian, it's 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 a lot. We're throwing him in the deep end. He's been, you know, Todd and the academy staff did a great job while they weren't able to train of staying connected, keeping guys engaged and active. But that's no, that's not a hundred percent of a substitute for for training uh, at the first team level. So you know, Christian only has had a couple days with us. So it's just going to be a question of how quickly he can get his feet under him, fitness wise, sharpness wise. Certainly, he's shown encouraging signs these first few days. And I would hope, you know, he'll certainly have a chance to play here in Orlando, depending on, on how things go. But all three have shown at various moments when they've had opportunities to play with the first team that they're ready. I know Tony and Eric will be looking on. It would be an incredible moment if it does happen. We'll wait and see. I know it would be a big moment to see for you, Todd. But it's back to work. I mean, you, you're churning out for the next academy. What's next for the academy uh, after this tournament, moving in towards the rest of 2020? Well, you know, as you know, we're, we're a little bit on hold waiting for an okay to get back to train. But, you know, the players are on a, a, a little bit of a break right now, but we have trained all the way through the middle of June. We, we continue to, you know, recruit, identify players, and prepare ourselves to start training again. So, you know, with the new... MLS platform and the emphasis on under 15, under 17 and MLS competitions. If we can get started, it looks like we're going to have a, a, an even stronger competitive year. And, uh, you know, like I said, we've learned a lot. We'll play a lot of guys up in older age groups to challenge them and see if we can have a group ready as we go into the, the next season. Fantastic. John Todd, thank you for joining us. Now we look forward to the next big date, which is Monday, 5 Pacific time, a game on FS1 LAFC taking on the Houston Dynamo. Make sure you join us at 4.30 on YouTube TV for the pregame show. We're off and running. The Academy's starting and ready to go, and LAFC is back. <laughs>